Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is just going to be like a chatty get ready with me style video. Um, I'm just going to be doing my go-to makeup. This is a typical makeup that I would do if I was going out to dinner with friends or to an event or I don't know, just out. This is like my go-to, especially if I don't have that much time to do my makeup. This is just kind of my comfort zone. I know this is going to suit me. I know that I can get it done relatively quickly and I know that it's just going to work. I hate it when you're like about to go out for like an event or out for dinner or something and you try and do this complicated makeup look and then it doesn't turn out the way you want it to and then you just feel shit for the rest of the night. So this is just like my go-to makeup look. The background is a little bit different today. I'm just sitting in front of my vanity. I know that you guys don't see this background very often but normally this background is an, like a hot mess. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, it's still not like that neat, but it's better than it normally is. So I thought, why not film here today? So I'm just going to get into it. It's going to be a little bit chatty. So this isn't a complicated makeup look though. So I shouldn't really have to be explaining too much to you guys. But um, I know I haven't been on YouTube for a little while. It's been a hot minute. So I just thought something chatty might be nice to do. So to start out, I'm going to be using my Mecca Cosmetica Lip From Within Primer. You guys know how much I love this primer, especially in winter at the moment. My skin is a little bit um, drier than I would like. Ugh, my hair's in my face. Um, my skin's been a little bit more dry on the dry side, so um, I definitely like this primer because it doesn't feel oily or make your skin like oily, but it, as you can see, I already have like that glow um, and it's just like such a good primer. I'm not really a primer kind of gal. Um, I kind of feel like they don't really do anything. There's only a handful of primers that I actually find do something where I'm like, it's worth doing that step. Um, and this is definitely one of them. It just like this on its own, if you can't be bothered to do your makeup for the day, like if you're going to the beach or something like that, like this is just so glowy, but not like oily. You don't look like gross, if you know what I mean. And then for foundation today, I'm going to be using my Life Proof Longwear Foundation by Mecca Max. You guys can see that I have been using this a lot. Um, I'm nearly almost ready to get myself a new one, but I love this packaging because you actually can get like a lot out of it. But yeah, I've just been loving this foundation. It just does what I want it to do. It's got a really good finish. I don't know. I've just been loving it lately. I've done like a complete 180 on foundations. It's so silly, but normally every day when I'm going to work or something, I'll just use a drugstore foundation because I'm like, it's going to be used every single day. You know, I don't want to waste a super expensive foundation or one of my favorites. But then the other day I was like, that's so stupid. Like, why wouldn't you use every single day the best product you possibly could? Like, I don't know. I've just been trying to use all sorts of different foundations lately. This has definitely been my go-to, but I've just been trying to trying to shop around in my own vanity and use some of these products that I have that I don't really get to use very often. Okay, so now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to just do my brows off camera because it's always the same routine. Um, and if you have not seen that one before, I will pop the video link for your piece. You can just click that and check out how I do my brows. But um, otherwise I'll be back with you in literally a second. Okay, brows are done. So I'm gonna go in with my Mecca Max Life Proof Cream Concealer. I have also really been loving this concealer. It's like pretty, pretty good. Um, so as I was saying, I haven't really been on YouTube for a little while and it's not because I've like lost motivation or anything like that. I actually have a lot of cool ideas and things that I want to do in the future, like some video ideas that I'm really excited about. Um, in the next few months, I have some exciting things happening, which I'm excited about. Let's say excited one more time. <laughs> it's more that I've just been busy like super busy with like family stuff and you know like just wanting to spend time with family um i actually use the weekends for my youtube so that sometimes means i don't really get as much time with my friends and family as i would like to so i've just kind of been focusing on my friends and family and just trying to rebuild those relationships a little bit not that you know, we're not super close or anything, just because I feel like I haven't seen them as much as I should. So I've just kind of been doing that. Yeah, get things back on track. But um, I've still been, still been around, you know, I've been going to events. I've got some exciting things coming up, which will be good. And yeah, 
I'm now just going to go in with my It Cosmetics CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder and I'm just going to set my entire face with this. So yesterday, Harry and I went and saw the new Jurassic World movie. If you guys have seen that movie... I cried like a freaking baby. Like, not just like a few tears rolling down my face, like full blown, like ugly cry, like sobbing. I was shook. Like, I was not expecting it to be as sad as it was. The first 20 minutes, I was like, oh my God. Like, I, I don't, I, I was actually thinking like, wow, I'm not gonna enjoy this movie. I'm, I'm so sad. Um, if you guys have seen it, you'll know exactly what I mean. Oh my god, this is one scene at the beginning of the movie and it just broke my heart. I was in the movie theatre literally bawling my eyes out thinking, shit, people next to me are probably like, what is this chick on about? Like, I was literally like, <laughs> like sobbing, crying. People would probably hear me and be like, why are you crying so much? But man, it was sad. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but like, oh, I was, I was not expecting it to be as sad as it was. Really good movie though, I, if you like that sort of thing. I really am into like dinosaur movies and the whole Jurassic Park, Jurassic World series. I've really enjoyed it so I've been looking forward to seeing it and it did not disappoint. It was just a hell of a lot sadder than I was expecting and it caught me off guard. For bronzer I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. Try saying that three times fast. I've been loving It Cosmetics at the moment. I don't know if you guys saw my last video trying out their... Um, new Bye Bye Breakout Concealer, but ever since then I'm really into it. I'm like, these products look amazing on the skin. They've really been doing me good. Definitely not disappointed. This is actually a foundation, but I use it for bronzer just because it blends really, really nicely into that CC powder that I was using before um, from It Cosmetics. I just find the two is a really good combination because they kind of work well together, they blend out nicely. Okay, so now I'm just gonna jump on into eyes and um, usually what I've been doing is actually just grabbing a bronzer um, and using the bronzer as like eyeshadow because it's just quick and easy. So I'm just gonna be grabbing my Hoola bronzer. This is super, super dirty and definitely well loved. I've hit pan, it's probably time for a new one, but you know what? It's a bloody good bronzer. So I'm gonna use every last bit. So I usually just buff this through the crease just to kind of give you a little bit of color but don't go too crazy with it. And then I'm also gonna swap brushes. And where is it? I'm gonna pick up my Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm just gonna run that underneath my lower lash line as well. Okay, so that's given my eyes a little bit of dimension, but like I said, it's it's not hard to do. Um, and it definitely makes the eyes stand out a little bit more, but it's super, super easy and quick to do. So that's that done. Now I'm going to jump into eyeliner. And I actually have some Sigma goodies that I really want to try out for today for my eyeliner. So um, yeah, let's check it out. So I got given this in a PR package. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually an affiliate with Sigma. So I do have a discount code, um, which will get you 10% off. It's CHELS10. Um, and that will get you 10% off your whole cart at checkout. But all those details are listed down below for you. Um, they did send me this really cool package. It says warning graphic content. And when I got this, I was like, thank the Lord, because I had a Sigma eyeliner ages ago and it was like my go-to. It didn't smudge. It didn't like transfer onto my hoods because I have hooded eyes. It was so easy to use. I always had like the most cut wing. Like it was always just perfect. I loved it. And then one day it disappeared. I can't even remember what happened to it. I don't know what happened. It, it's gone. And I was very sad about it. And then for whatever reason, I just didn't purchase another one. And I just continued using like my gel pot. I don't know why I didn't buy another one. But anyway, when I got this in the mail, I was like, yes. Oh my God. Because Sigma eyeliners are actually so good. So, so good. And there's um, a few things in here that I've been really excited to try. So I'm going to open this baby up and we're going to have a little play. Sigma packaging is always so freaking cool. Like... Their packaging is awesome. Um, my sister actually did like package product design for a little while and every time I get 
a Sigma package and it's like something really cool like this, I always send it to her because it like inspires her for ideas and stuff. They always have really cool boxes. So yeah, this is, this is fun. I never feel like throwing out PR packages like this because I'm like, what a cool box. Like someone could use this for something. And let me tell you, this kind of packaging is really expensive. Like really expensive. Trust me. Oh my God. So they've got a new Wicked Liquid Pen Liner. So that is the top one. And then there's the new Wicked Long Wearing Eye Pencil. That's great. And then, oh, their, their eyeliner brushes, you guys, are so good. You can get like such a clean line from it. And then of course, this is their gel liner, which is amazing. So I'm gonna be trying out the Sigma Liquid Pen Eyeliner today. Let's hope this bad boy works or I'm gonna be looking like a hot mess. You know what, I actually might use tape. I know it's cheating, but it's also easier and foolproof and you're gonna get a sharp line, so why not? So I'm just gonna grab some tape. So I've got two bits of tape. Um, I do like to just kind of get the sticky off it a little bit, just like, so it's not so intense. Now this is where I feel like some people go wrong with their eyeliner. Um, and especially if you're a beginner and you're not really sure what like angle to do your eyeliner on, depending on the angle of your eyeliner, you're either gonna like bring your eyes up or you're gonna droop them down or you're gonna bring them out. So depending on what you're aiming for, that's sort of the angle you should go for. Like if you wanna bring your eyes up, obviously bring the, the line on more of an upwards angle. If you're a beginner and you're not really sure how to go about things, I always, with my tape, because this is just the best way I can think to do it, or if you have like a, a um, brush, you want to get the angle of your brow. So if my eyebrow is like this, I then take it down and I want my eyeliner to be on that same angle, just so everything is like parallel and it just looks, it just looks good. It's like symmetry and things like that. If you want everything to be like in sync, that's just my best option for you. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I just like to take the tape like that and then keep it on the angle and then take it down. And then I just pop it on like so. And it's also kind of a guarantee that both sides will be the same. Um, sometimes you might be a bit lopsided, but that kind of guarantees that they're gonna be the same angle. Okay, so now that we have the tape on, we're looking hella cute. I'm just gonna take my Sigma liquid pen eyeliner and I'm just gonna draw a line following that tape as like my guide. Now I'm just gonna take this along the lash line. And then once I've got it along my lash line and the wing, I'm just going to join the two together. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and pray to God that they match and I will be right back with you. Okay, so they are looking pretty even to me. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but to me, they look even, so I'm happy about that. And they're not transferring onto my lids. I hate it when liquid liner, you spend like an hour perfecting it only for your hooded eyes to fall down onto it and it transfers onto your lid and you're like, Thank God Sigma came through with the eyeliner and it's not um, not transferring onto my lids. Amazing! So now my next step is to just pop on some mascara. Today I'm going to be using the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. This is like the biggest question I get asked all the time is, can you recommend a good mascara? What's your favourite mascara? It's probably the number one question I get all the time in person, not necessarily on social media but whenever people meet me or um, you know my friends and family the biggest question I get asked is what's the best mascara and I think it's because like lashes is a big thing for people but not everyone wears lashes like false lashes unless you have lash extensions but you know a lot of people just like to rock their natural eyelashes and they want them to pop so they're always asking me um, you know what my favorite mascaras are and honestly for me because I wear lashes nearly all the time mascara isn't really something I care too much about I also have the most short stumpy lashes that anyone could ever be blessed with like thanks mom for the stumpy lashes I just don't really care too much about 
mascara. I know that sounds really silly, but it's just not something that I am super fussy about. But I will say, every single time someone asks me what mascara do I recommend, it's always a benefit mascara, depending on what kind of thing you're going for, whether you want volume, whether you want curl, whether you want like length, thickness, whatever it is, I always say go and try out some of the Benefit mascaras because they're honestly amazing. They're probably the only mascaras I have used in years. Whether it's that they're real mascara, roller lash, bad gal bang, they're all so so good and like for all their own reasons, you know, they're all good in their own way, so I would recommend Benefit. They're just the best. So now that we have some mascara on, the next step is just get the biggest lashes you have in your collection. So usually if I'm rushing to an event or I just want to throw on this look because this is the kind of look I go for if I'm like I don't have that much time but I want to look good. So usually I do something really basic with my eyeshadow similar to this like literally nothing. Do my big wing and then I just pop on biggest lashes I can possibly find. Today these are the bespoke lashes in the style Milan. I like to call my big lashes like my drag lashes. I know that they're not like drag lashes because drag lashes can be huge but um, I just call these like my drag lashes because they're so they're as big as I'll go you know. I won't go much bigger than this but these will do. And the glue that I'm going to be using today is the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. If you guys have not tried this lash glue, honestly, this, I don't know why no one recommended this to me sooner because I've always been using House of Lashes glue because I like glue that's going to stick. There's nothing I hate more than being out, you're at an event, you're out with friends, whatever it is that you're doing, and your lashes start flapping in the wind and you're like, awesome, what do I do now? You can't rip them off because it'll probably ruin your makeup and take off all your eyeshadow with it. And you can't really stick it back down once it's like come off it's just ugh, it's just a nightmare so I always use house of lashes glue because it's just like super glue for your eyelashes but it does stay sticky but this this is amazing this is like super glue like it will hold those lashes down there is no way they are coming off until you actually want to pull them off there's also not really any waiting time you don't have to like wait the lash glue to dry you can literally just pop it straight on and it, it's like good to go it doesn't really have a tacky stage it's just there's wet and then there's dry <laughs> so you can just go for it um so i'm just gonna pop these on lashes is probably one of those things that when i was younger this is another question i get all the time is like how do you put on false lashes? I don't know how to do it. What's like any tips and tricks? And honestly, it's just practice, 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 practice. I remember back in the day in high school, I started wearing false lashes like really young, really, really young, but I'd only ever wear them to like parties and stuff. Um, and I was that person that like, if I could not get my lashes right, which I never could. Back in the day, I was so bad. I would always stuff it up. I think it's because I never let the glue dry down a little bit. I, w I was always using um, Duo Lash Glue and that one you really have to wait until it gets tacky and I just never had the patience for that so I would just try and go straight in with it and it never worked out for me like it was always a mess and I just remember we would be like me and my best friend we were getting ready for a party and like Lashes is the last thing that you do. So your makeup is looking bomb, you're feeling good, and you go to do your lashes and they're just not working. All your eyeshadow was ruined and I just remember we would just sit there nearly in tears of frustration, just like, stop it, it's cancelled, we're not going to the party. And I, like, oh, it never came to that. Like, it never came to me being like, I'm sorry, can't get my lashes right, I'm not going. But it was this close. Like, I was so close to just being like, you know what? Not today. Not today. It's not happening. I'm not going to the party. I can't get my lashes right. Everything's ruined. <sighs> but, you know, it is what it is. If you can't do lashes, don't worry. Neither could I. It took me a good year before I got the hang of lashes. And now, even still, I make mistakes. But, you know, you do, you do get the hang of it eventually. Um, I also just find it easier just to look down into a mirror rather than straight ahead. And then you, you, you're good. You're good to go. My one hit wonder now, guys. That's what happens. Three years of practice. There you go. Done. Okay, so that is both lashes on. Like I said, they're very dramatic, but if you're doing like a simple eye makeup, sometimes it's good just to have 
really big lashes. If you're comfortable with that, I certainly am. Um, I like them, I'm like, go big or go home. I am also just gonna pop on some mascara on my bottom lash line. The other day, I went out without putting mascara on my bottom lash line, and I know some people don't normally do that. Like, there have been times where I'm doing someone's makeup, I always ask, I'm like, do you normally wear mascara on your lower lash line? Because a lot of people don't, you'd be surprised. Um, so anyway, the other day I forgot to put some on. Oh, I felt naked. I felt so weird and everyone kept being like, wow, you look so different today. Like, what is it? I'm like, I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. Shut up. Like, I know I look weird. And it's, it's so funny that like something that you're so used to seeing on your face when you forget it, it's so obvious. And you know, I'm sure a lot of people didn't really notice that I had forgotten, but even now, like, this with with bottom lashes done on this side and not this side it's a very different look i know some of you might be going what are you talking about chelsea but honestly like i just felt so weird looking at myself i'm like where are my bottom lashes this looks silly i look incomplete and i just felt so weird uh speaking of lashes i know a lot of people get eyelash extensions and i've been kind of tempted to do it because my lashes are super stumpy but someone was telling me recently that they had been using something similar to like Revitalash and those serums that you put on your eyelashes to make them grow but she had like the serum was so successful that she literally had the eyelashes growing out of like her eyelid like not in the center of her eyelid but like far up like where you wouldn't really want to have eyelashes growing out of and she was just like I had to stop using it because I mean my lashes were so long and it was great but there were lashes where I wouldn't normally want to have eyelashes growing I just thought it was so funny. I was like, no way. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of tempted to try it because my lashes are so shit. Like they're so stumpy. They're like non-existent. I'm also gonna take my Tarte Tipsy Blush. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you will know that back in the day, I was not a blush person, like at all. I was not into blush. It was not my thing. I would never, ever, I just skipped that step. I wasn't really into blush at all, but now, just feel weird without blush. I don't know what it is. It just adds a little bit of color. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Times Amrezy highlight, which is, oh my god, every time I open it, I'm like, so beautiful. Um, this has just been like my absolute go-to for obvious reasons. It's so freaking stunning. Like, honestly, it's blinding, blinding highlight. Um, I actually don't know where my little fan brush is, but I'm going to take my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush for this. I normally have the Sigma Fan Brush, um, but it's, it's gone walkabout, so I'm going to be using this one. Um, and like I said, I do have a discount code for Sigma products if you're interested. And all my other discount codes and stuff is always listed below, um, just in case you guys are wondering. And I also list down below like all my favorite brush sets and things like that as well and brushes that I normally use. Also pop this on my schnoz. And then I'm going to take my Sigma Buff and Blend brush. This is their E39 I think. This one is well loved and it's sort of rubbed off. But it's the Buff and Blend brush um, and I use this to do the little detailed areas of my face just because it kind of gets in there much easier. So now I'm just going to give myself a little spritz. Um, today I think I might actually use... What have I got here? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to use my Mario Badescu um, facial spray. This is with aloe vera, chamomile and lavender. It's just super refreshing. Um, also really, really good for nighttime as well. Um, just for like a calming sensation, if you will, because of the lavender. This is one of those great products that it's great for like before bed, after skincare or before or after makeup. It's just kind of an all-rounder. It's great for like a little refresher throughout the day. Um, so yeah, I just, this is like one of my go-tos at the moment. The mist also itself is so fine. Sometimes I feel like with setting sprays, spraying it is like a bit of a punch in the face. It's just so full on, but this, this like actual 
spritzer is really good. It sends out such a fine mist and it's not so like intense. Now for lips, so normally when I do this makeup look, I'm going out. So if it's like during the day, I'll probably either just put on like a gloss or a nude lipstick, whatever is like my hot favorite at the moment. But today I think I want to do more of like a nighttime or like a going out for dinner type look. So I think I want to try a new product, which I have actually been dying to try. Um, and that is the new NARS lip glosses. <laughs> so um, they're actually over on my vanity, so I'm going to have to go and grab them. A little while ago, I was introduced to the NARS um, Power Mats, and they're like slowly becoming my new favorite liquid lipstick. They are so freaking good, but um, they've also just launched glosses, which I am also so obsessed with. Look how stunning this one is. This one is called Cape Town. Look at that. Is that just like not so stunning? As a lip topper, so so good there's also some really nice nudes in the range I don't have the entire range but there's also some really really nice nudes and of course some really deep plummy colors and that's kind of one the one that I really want to try today um, I really want to try this deep plum I think yeah I think I really want to try that maybe over the top of the red power mat I don't know I don't know how that's gonna go we'll see we'll see how we go so this red power mat is like becoming my new favorite liquid lipstick. This formula, you guys, is amazing. It's like really long wearing, but not too drying. It's like so, so good. I need to stop talking so I can put this on. But like, look how intense that color is. It's crazy. Look how stunning that red lip is. Oh, oh my God, it's so pretty. And the good thing about liquid lipsticks is that you know they're not gonna like get on your teeth throughout the day. So wearing such an intense color like this is not too worrying. You're not gonna end up with anything on your teeth. And like this makes my teeth look so white. But honestly, like oh, such a comfortable formula. It's not drying, it's like oh, so, so good. Really lightweight as well. The only thing that I don't really like about the um, power mats is the doe foot applicator is a bit of a funny shape for me. And it's just a little bit tricky for me to apply. It's probably, sort of half me not really being used to it but I, I guess I will get used to it eventually it's just when you first try it you're a bit it's just a little bit hard to navigate around a lip with it but that could just be me I don't know it's it's still really good it's just a bit tricky to get used to so this red is the shade just push play so now I could leave the look like this but I really want to try the lip glosses like I said so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm going to try the shade Mississippi this one is called Mississippi this is such a beautiful color look at this you guys and oh, you guys NARS packaging just kills it every single time every time I see that packaging I'm like oh my god it always looks so good on my vanity as well most of my stuff is like NARS oh, makeup so pretty all right so I'm just gonna go in with this wow I've been really getting into lip glosses lately. I don't know what it is, but I used to hate lip gloss. I think I didn't like how tacky it was, but I feel like people have really upped their game with their lip gloss formula because this feels so not tacky at all. And my other big pet peeve with lip gloss is like when you open your mouth and you have that like, that line, do you know what I mean? Like that almost like, like it's like a webbing between your lips. That's just like so disgusting. But this one doesn't do that and I am quite obsessed with this look right now. So this would be my kind of go-to look if I was to go out. I feel like when your eyes are really, really simple, you can be bold with a lipstick. So why not just do it? Okay, so that is the finished look, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this chatty kind of get ready with me style video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video, if not sooner. Bye.